guys, so today's video is going to be a plan with me, June setup for my bullet journal. So before I get started on showing you what I'm going to do, I'm going to really quickly flip through my May spread just so you can sort of get a rough idea on what I'm working towards. So on the cover page of the May spread, I drew a wreath and I wrote the word May in cursive in a really nice blue. I have all my tools listed down below. And then I have my month at a glance, so it's just a calendar to see which dates fall which day. And then because it was exam season, I put in my exams which day I have them on. And on the bottom, I drew a little camera and said stay focused. On the right, I put a to-do list and on the bottom, I put a little box where I could include my goals. So be it health goals, um, financial goals, just personal goals, education goals, st stuff like that. And the next page, I drew a little succulent, a little cacti in which... I'm not good at drawing. I also put a key where it basically just reminds me what each symbol represents and then I have my expense tracker on the right. This page is a mood tracker where on the bottom I have different faces to represent different emotions and I basically record that down. And on the right hand side I have my sleep tracker so I record how many hours of sleep I get each night for each day. And then we have our weekly log, so on the top I write May 1st to 7th for example and I draw a little calendar to shade in which week that is. And yeah, that's pretty much self-explanatory. As you guys can tell, that's an ongoing theme of two different shades of blues and yeah. So now we're just gonna jump right into the June spread. Basically all I did was wrote Hello June in a really pretty cursive handwriting and since summer is right around the corner, I drew little doodles to represent sort of the summer theme so I drew a sun, popsicles, coconut with an umbrella in it and then I also put a little quote so it says that the waves hit your feet and the sand be your seat. So I just went ahead and did that. And I've just now realized I wrote sun instead of sand. Girl, you do not want to sit in the sun. So yeah, just ignore that little typo. I fixed it already. ahead and erased any other pencil marks. I did it in pencil mark in pencil at first just so it would save your time. On the next page we have the monthly logs for a month at a glance. So it looks just like a calendar and I actually really like this page. I used two pages for the spread. Um, I don't know I like keeping the boxes quite big so I can actually fit things in. For example since I have quite a few tests left I will just key them in, I'll just write them on in the boxes, and yeah. In addition to that, instead of coming up with a whole page dedicating it to my mood tracker, I thought I didn't I wasn't really quite happy with it. What I did instead was include a little cloud on the bottom, which you will see in a bit, and I put in the little key, the little smiley faces, the same faces to represent the emotions I have, and what I'm gonna do is just gonna draw these emotions into these boxes. Just so, you know, it's it's more color added to this page. On the top right, I also put summer in these like sort of blocks. And then below it, I did a to-do list. I just made my to-do list a little bit smaller because I really didn't have that much to do. I keep the to-do list the same. And then below that, I have a little box again with my goals. So my financial goals, like I said, educational goals, fitness goals pretty much any goal and on the top I put a banner and said June and then drew a little sun next to it. So that was the first small change I made. The second was I dedicated a whole page to my highlights instead of, again, like if you flip back to my May setup 
I just had a little section for highlights. I didn't write much in it because there wasn't much space. So I decided a whole page would be nice. So if I have any sort of like pictures that I like to print out and stick in, I could because I have a whole page or any quotes, anything funny, memorable, I could just jot it all down on that page and I think that's much better. I have more free space. And on the page next to it, I did my expense tracker. I need an expense tracker that is for my financial goals. So I find my expense tracker works really well for me. Basically, what I do is I add my date in one column, my description in the column, then the middle column, which is what I bought, and the amount on the last column. I didn't actually write these yet. Um, I only wrote them in after I shaded the back of the... I guess headers what's great about this is that at the end of each month you add up your total amount spent and you can sort of see how much you're spending and if that's a really really shocking amount then you can set your next month's financial goals to be I guess lower than the previous month's spending so yeah that is basically what I use it for and I find it really 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 good Look up, your city's built on marble floors, neon lights in the falling snow, those nights back in And now we're moving on to my sleep tracker. I've just realized I completely forgot to include a title for sleep tracker. Anyways, you guys know how this works. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but I'll explain it. So it's just a box. It says all the days and all the dates on the left column. And on the top, the row, it sort of goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And that represents the number of hours. Basically how this works is after I wake up, when it's during the day when I bullet journal, I go ahead and get a pen and I draw a little mark at the number with um, at the number of hours I sleep so yeah at the end of the day you sort of see a little um, correlation between the hours of sleep you get and on the page next to it I did my monthly favorites so this is something new and I decided to do this because I've discovered because I write a uh, because I have a blog post I've discovered that this is really 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 handy because every month I write about my monthly favorites if you'd like I have a link down below on my April favorites my May favorites should be out very very soon but yeah um, I thought that would be really handy for me so I don't lose track on what I enjoy next I started my weekly log so this week um this month's weekly log is gonna change a little I'm not drawing that calendar in the corner I'm just writing the dates and then the days and then a bracket of the date next to the days I've also decided that I actually didn't show it in but I've actually decided that on each day as well I'm going to be drawing a little something a little doodle that represents the weather because summer guys and then I went back and I shaded in any other colors giving it some bright pops of color because you know, like I said, summer. So yellows, pinks, blues, basically anything. So yeah guys, that is basically it for my June spread. 
we're just gonna really quickly go through it so first of all I have my cover page like I said little doodles and a quote then I have my monthly log colorful has my to-do list goals and mood tracker and then I have my highlights and expense tracker page my state tracker my monthly favorites and then my weekly log for the rest of the month so thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys in my next video bye